What is the significance of his departure for Fox News? Well, he's the founding father, uh, not just of Fox News, but of a media empire that's uh, made him one of the richest people on earth. He's a genius, I think. With the news of Rupert Murdoch stepping down, Geraldo Rivera licked the boot one last time. Call calling this man a genius does a disservice to the word. This is not genius level commentary he put on network television. It's a shameless compilation of misstatements, misrepresentations of the American past. The lies told of the 1619 Project. The establishment is the revolution. In other words, these are the people who are upending our society. These are the people who are promoting, uh, I'll call it, anti-white racism. Amid the intentional pandering to white supremacy, how do we know this? It's really, really alarming that my family watches Tucker Carlson's show once and then watches it on the replay because they feel that he is making the white nationalist talking points better than they have. And they're trying to get some tips on how to how to advance it. That's Derek Black, a former white supremacist, speaking on the network and Tucker Carlson. White supremacy, that's the problem. This is a hoax. An unapologetic promoter of white nationalism, so much so, his show was viewed as white supremacy power hour. David Duke, former grand wizard of the Triple K, tweeted his support on neo-Nazi site The Daily Stormer called Carlson their biggest ally. But it wasn't just him. We have to realize that Fox News, and I know that this is CNN, but Fox News has completely radicalized so many Americans. If you look at Fox News and then you compare that to hate radio from Rwanda and what started that civil war, there's comparisons there. Like, so we have to know that a lot of our fellow Americans, fellow children of God, have been radicalized by a network of news that, as a former radical, I can tell you from watching Fox News, I'll, I can show you where their same radical stuff that I used to say, I used to have a TV show as a neo-Nazi. I used to know how to do the, they used the same stuff. Instead of saying where I would say Jews, they say big media. Like, I mean, it's just they swapped out a couple of words here and there, but it's still just radicalization. Another ex-white supremacist, Frank Mink, echoed Derek Black's words. Then there was Bill O'Reilly. Summing up, left wants power taken away from the white establishment. So-called white privilege, bad, diversity, good. Well, say you're a cocaine dealer. And you kind of look like one a little bit. Where the reality is that young black men are doing far more damage than the police in Chicago. We have a case there now, right. the police in Minneapolis. Young black American men are so often involved in crime. Fox News was good for one thing, though. I, I'm making it cool to be, to be smart. All right. I'm look, making it cool to wait. Let me tell you, but it's not I'm about making business. it cool to be a business. It's not man. about business. It's not about it's business about... for you because you feel like it might give you better no. ratings to portray something negative within the image it of hip hop. It is negative. It, it is negative. It's not negative to sure be a businessman. It's, it's, not, it's not negative to take care of the economy around you. It's negative to make money, Mr. Dash, if you it's, hurt children. How do you hurt children by promoting to be an entrepreneur and a CEO and to do right by looking at a principal? For example, for example, you're looking at a principal. You're looking at a principal. Why you don't want to let him talk? You mad? You mad. Uh, mad. Where'd you get from? Where'd you start? Curving the fear, right? No, wrong. Well, you, you looking, the you're I got dirt man. on you, doggy. Still, the hits, they kept coming. Is it the year of the dragon? From know-nothing grifter Jesse Waters, who cheated on his wife with a Fox News producer, she is 14 years his junior, when it came to sports. And it's always unwise to seek political advice from someone who gets paid $100 million a year to bounce a ball. Oh, and LeBron and Kevin, you're great players, but no one voted for you. Millions elected Trump to be their coach. So keep the political commentary to yourself, or as someone once said, shut up and dribble. It was an all-out attack. From Serena Williams to Megan Rapino, LeBron James, and Colin Kaepernick. From trans rights to human rights, the bashing began and ended with Rupert Murdoch. He kept Roger Ailes on after years of sexual harassment with women in Murdoch's workplace. And former correspondent Rudy Bakhtiar alleges she was fired from the network after filing a complaint after rejecting sexual advances from former Washington bureau chief Brian Wilson. And but unlike Carlson, Tantero's claims the harassment too. was widespread alleging Fox News operates like a sex-fueled Playboy Mansion-like cult, steeped in intimidation, indecency, and misogyny. And many, many more. This man did everlasting damage to the planet and the human race. No one should be applauding his efforts, and he should be shunned for the rest of his days.